Recently, I asked my friends when was the first time that they heard about the one drop rule and their answers were really incredible. So we're sharing them here and we'd like to hear yours. So send us an email, tweet us anything and let us know when was the first time that you learned about the one drop rule? My studies probably in late graduate school uh, when we were studying race relations and I started reading slave narratives of uh, Frederick Douglass and, this, and even up from slavery with uh, Booker T. Washington and there were these conversations about uh, I was born, I know who my mother is but I suspect my father is my master. And that led to these conversations about the rule that the lot of the child follows the mother. And in that case, it was the white master who was um, in relations with the slave mothers. And in a power dynamic, I couldn't imagine that those were necessarily consensual. And that's when I learned about the power of the almighty drop rule. My children are also a product of an African-American dad and a mom who is, and I don't even say the word white, I tend to say she's um, Argentine and Italian because, I don't know, I just, I, I just can't find myself saying it, but our children uh, have an identity that, that is an embodiment of this one drop of love. Uh, but there's a certain kind of ridiculousness that I recognize, and I think that has to do with we haven't created a language that we can talk about race in very comfortably. Um, and it's, 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 it's interesting when, when you learn about that, then it, it helps you understand, or at least it helped me understand, just how ridiculous some of those other kinds of rules around race still are. Mm. Segregation, um, the fact that, you know, just looking at a person or, you know, I always want to know how do you measure the one drop? Well, you don't really measure it, and it really makes no sense that that one drop would sort of taint uh, all the 99 other drops. But that also helps me understand this fear of black men in particular, um, particularly emancipated black men who then had access to white women. It's part of our American tapestry that's so complicated and so contradictory and so nonsensical, but it's ours. And until we understand it and embrace it, we will continue to be sort of dominated by it as opposed to sort of understanding it, embracing it, and growing from it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with the latest One Drop news and other videos. Do you have ideas for more video content? Tell us what you'd like to see. We'll see you next time to share more Drops of Love. Be sure to tell us by commenting here and on Twitter and Facebook how you are spreading Drops of Love.